Hi guys, it's Liliana from Vanilla in Canela here. Welcome back to Vlogtober. Today I have a Poundland haul for you. I went all out and spent £37. So I got some really cool stuff that I wanted to share with you. So let's get straight into it. First thing I got, and I'm going to be a bit boring, were these parcel boxes. Now these are fairly small, but they're ideal. You guys know what Paul's um, business I need to post frames out uh, for people and these are the ideal size. There's two in a pack and each pack was a pound. So I got four packs, that's eight boxes. I'm gonna see how I get on. I can always go back and get some more. So that was the first thing. Okay, now I'm gonna show you what I bought for the house. So I picked up some flash anti-back cuts through grease and grime. I usually don't buy this kind of stuff, but I thought I would give it a try. So everything was a pound. I know that Poundland now sells stuff for two pounds and five pounds, but everything I got today was a pound each. Okay, I also picked up some Vanish liquid for stains and that pound. What else? I found some near, near, I don't know how you pronounce that. Nair, Nair, Air Remover Cream. Now this stuff would set you back six or seven pounds in Tesco, so I was really pleased to find it. It's probably a smaller, yeah, it's still all right. It's still a good price. And it says it's a five minute to 10 minute wait. So I still think that's a great bargain. Picked up some uh, food bags. These in my eyes are the best food bags apart from Ziploc bags, which you pay a lot more for. I prefer these to Tesco's. What else? I picked up some cupcake liners, nothing special about those, but there's 150 in there. So they've just got some little roses on them. It's fine. Um, also picked up some Epsom salts, lavender. Thought this is quite nice for achy muscles and it's a good thing to have around in case you need to use it. Some Kleenex balm tissues. Now, these were a pound as usual, and you can pay like up to two pounds per packet in Tesco's. I love these. They don't scratch your nose, and we use them mainly when we have full-on colds where you're always like cleaning your nose, and this really helps. So, picked up a box. We are heading towards the cold season. Some cotton buds. Johnson's are my favorites. What else? What else boring stuff? Oh, also picked up a grout pen. There is the grout in our bathroom upstairs. It's a bit dodgy, so I thought I'd give this a try, see if it works, and I'll let you guys know. More boring stuff. Yes. Picked up a bag of individually wrapped Skittles for Halloween, and also some Frutella. So they will do really well for Halloween. Got some lockets. These are good when you have a sore throat and stuff in winter. A pound and there's two packs in there. Got some of our favorite coffee biscuits as well. Can't go wrong with that. And is that most of the boring stuff? Oh, I found these. I was really pleased. It's a little bag of dinosaurs. It says dinosaurs of the Jurassic era. Is there any other type? Anyway, there's a pack of multi dinosaurs. T I can see a T-Rex and a Triceratops. I thought that looked really good and you could easily pay for something like that, two or three pounds instead of one, and there's four in there. So it's a friend's birthday soon, or I can keep these for Alex as well. He'll quite happily have them. I love Poundland's foot packs and this is a different one that I haven't tried. This is the Argan Oil one. I will let you know what I think of these in my, these are a few of my favourite things and I've reviewed the others so I'll review that one for you as well. Some Dove Rich Nourishing Cream, so just some hand cream, really thick. Paw gets really, really dry hands here in the winter so I think that will be quite nice and I love the smell of Dove and Nivea, all that kind of stuff. Oh, okay, for Halloween, I picked up for Alex this little 
soft, squishy ghost. And if you hit it, there you go, lights up. He will love that. I also picked him up some eerie torch projectors. There's two torches in there and it comes with the little different things that you can put on top. And I'm, there's no batteries in them and it takes two AA batteries, which is fine. Um, I know he's going to love that. Um, is that it for Alex? It is. Now, makeup. I, pick, I also picked up a makeup brush this is an angle blush brush I didn't have one of those and I thought I'd give it a try I've heard good things about makeup other brushes from uh, Poundland I also picked up a foundation sponge never seen these before saying that I then later on went into Superdrug and they had them but I thought I'd give it a try for one pound so it's like one of those makeup sponges but on the handle I think that would be quite handy I'll let you know how I get on with that um, deodorant for Paul from Shaw um, I picked up a iPhone charger thing you can I always go through these um, what else what else I'm leaving the Christmas stuff for last oh I also picked up, I really don't understand how bronzer works, okay, but I've watched a few tutorials and I thought, well, do you know what, I'm going to try it out, so I bought it from Poundland. I don't know, like I said, I've heard good things about it, it's just one of these, I thought I'd give it a try. I'll let you know. And then, now one of the things, and I've seen this in other videos, their stationary range is getting better and better and I stood at that in that aisle for ages trying to decide what to buy. They had menu planners, weekly planners, sticky notes, but I ended up getting two things and here's the first. It's a little pad, it says there's always a reason to smile and it's really pretty inside as well. And I like making notes when I'm sitting at my desk and I really like the colours. They had like blues as well, but I thought that was quite cute and then the other thing I picked up was this I really like these kind of pouches to keep documents in and this one says smile I think there's two inside there is there's two inside so two for a pound it's not bad okay and then I picked up some Christmas bits now the shop I went into was still starting to put out their stuff I spoke to the lady at the tills and she says that this year, their stuff is fantastic, and they're sort of copying John Lewis and m &S, so I'm so excited to see what comes out uh, for this year. But here's what I picked up. I picked up this little, it has a handle, and it says, leave a little sparkle wherever you go. Now, I could have this displayed all year. It doesn't have to be just for Christmas. It has got sequins inside. Can you see them moving around? And I thought that is super cute and that will probably go in my office because I have all like the bronzy colored stuff. Um, what else? Also, decorations wise, I only got one more thing. They did have other stuff and I was, should I get it? Should I not get it? I left it and I thought I can always get it at a later date. But I picked up this sign, comes with a little rope. And it says Merry Christmas. Oops. And I thought this would look quite good on my office door. Um, these are sort of the colours I have in there. This kind of blue and white and cream. So I thought that, I thought for a pound that was awesome. Really, really good. Really good. And they had others. Which just made me, oh yes. I did buy something else. I almost forgot. Now this is more in the traditional lines just like a little wreath with the bells and I thought I could on my front door I have a green um, wreath and I thought I could attach that to the wreath and boom there's a Christmas wreath right I thought that looked really cute okay so that was the decor stuff I then found some snow flurries hand cream I really love the packaging 
really love the packaging. This is like you get this kind of stuff from Body Shop. Um, and let me see what it says on the back. Okay, it's designed in USA and made in Italy. So I'm really, should I try it for you guys? Oh, it's closed. Oh, that's really nice. Feels, oh, oh, it smells amazing, guys. They had a pe peppermint one and a gingerbread one, and I thought that might be a bit too much for me, but I'm really, really pleased I've bought this, and I will probably go back and get this for other people as Christmas, to put in their Christmas presents. For a pound, it smells, it smells lovely. So, so lovely. It's hard to describe. It's snow flurries, but... I can't, it's quite a clean smell, kind of dovish or Nivea kind of smell. There's nothing really strong about it. Really, really love that. I also picked up, they had loads of bath bombs and I was a bit, how good are they going to be? So I decided to pick up a Christmas pudding one, a spiced orange Christmas pudding bath bomb. And I thought, I'm going to try these and if they're good, I'll buy them for other people. I thought the packaging looks really cute. They had others in like snowman shape, all that kind of stuff. So if these are good, I'm going to give the ones a try before I put them in anyone's Christmas presents. But it smells really good. It smells like spiced orange. So I'm excited to try that and I will let you know. I also, they had Christmas cards, individual Christmas cards, and we usually just buy bulk and then sent them out apart from Paul's mum and dad who we send a mum and dad card we don't really send I, I sometimes send one to my parents in Portugal but it's not the same as here where you really into it so I got this one it's really really traditional and I know they'll love it so it's really pretty for a pound and last but not least I found some winter spice zaflora it smelled, I smelled, it. they had a few and I wasn't that keen on the others. This winter spice smelled nice to me. Yes, it smells like winter spice. And I thought, my God, if I add this to my DIY cupboard cleaner, you know, like the multi-purpose cleaner, my kitchen will smell amazing at all times. So I can use it to clean the floors and all that kind of stuff. That's it. Yes. That is it, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed this massive Poundland haul. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye for now.